Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today we have some very moist firewall zero hour news. This news is going to be all about the upcoming firewall season 3 updates which we now know is called Operation Heartland. So let's jump right in. Earlier today, First Contact Entertainment tweeted out this official artwork to promote and reveal Firewall's third season. The tweet was accompanied by the caption, Landing October 22nd, Firewall Zero Hour Season 3 takes our contractors to the land of red, white and blue in Operation Heartland. So if you're wondering why it's called Heartland instead of something more summer blockbuster like Nightfall or Dark Web, well, it's because the United States will be sort of a big theme for Season 3. This all but guarantees that the new map, Prepper, takes place in the US, a first for Firewall. And in hindsight, it does look very American with its shooting ranges, the Prepper bunker, the neon beer signs hung up on the wall, as well as a cowboy hat that I... I saw hung up in the wall, but I never copped on. I never thought that it was an American thing. Uh, and probably a bunch of other American type stuff, like hamburgers and diabetes are hidden there somewhere. So you gotta keep your eyes out for that stuff. It's also very possible that the season's second map, which will release at week five, if history is anything to go by, will also be set in the good old US of A, but we'll talk more about the second map in just a bit. The artwork also features the new weapon coming on the 22nd, which is the crossbow, which of course we've already seen in action over on the First Contact Entertainment official YouTube channel. Although that video has since been removed for reasons unknown, I did restream it however, so that's why I had to use my footage instead of the cleaner original one in the background. We also finally get a good look at Bear. Now Bear is the newest contractor who will also come with the Season 3 Op Pass for Firewall. We don't know what his skill is yet, but this is the best look we've gotten of him so far. I'm going to go ahead and best that he will join Diaz, Texas and Proxy in representing the United States, judging by his getup and his codename. He just looks and sounds very American. He has a cool hunter look about him, which I like, and this hunter look may be a clue as to what his skill will be. Some people have speculated that it will be some kind of trap that will hold an enemy in place, like a bear trap, which sounds pretty cool to me. But it could be anything really. For example, maybe he can see enemy footprints for a short period, kind of like a tracking skill, like something like Bloodhound in uh, Apex Legends, something like that. That would suit him nicely as well. We won't have long to waste to find out as Heartland will be coming this Tuesday. And remember, a new operation means a new op pass. New operations to complete and a whole suite of new cosmetics to earn by completing these operations. I would imagine it will cost $9.99 and euro. I'm not sure about the sterling price there, but just expect it to cost the same that Nightfall and Dark Web did. Now let's move on to the juicy part of this video. So over the last two days, I've received two emails from two different people, both claiming to have leaked artwork for an upcoming firewall map. I'm not going to disclose their identities in case they don't want it known, but let me just give them a thanks for reaching out and letting me know. I appreciate that too. The first person sent me this image with the original email, which is pretty high quality. And then the second person didn't want to disclose how they got their hands on the image, but they then posted the image that they had to Redis, which was the same image, but taken off screen. So it was lower quality. They later revealed to me that they had since gotten their hands on the original image too. So two people had the original and I don't know where or how they obtained it. I didn't want to jump on it too soon in case it was photoshopped or doctored in some way, but I've since come to learn that it's the real deal so it's safe to talk about it. Anyway, as you can see, it appears to be artwork for the second map that will be dropping in the mid-season updates and it prominently features this airplane fuselage type thing. I know that a lot of the community have been asking for a map which features an airplane for the longest time now, so it looks like we're getting one. However, this isn't simply an airplane map, as there's a lot going on in this image that points to it being some kind of staged training exercise ground of some kind. The seats are occupied with dummies, a couple of which are holding knives in their hands. The fuselage is in a state of disrepair with huge holes in it, along with signs of wear and tear on the seats and whatnot. And if you look outside, you can see a window and a wall or a large door or something like that, which points to it all being located indoors. So overall, it looks like this map is a staged exercise area with this particular exercise being dealing with maybe a terrorist attack on an airplane, something along those lines, 
Of course, this is just one shot of the map. Who knows what else is in this large warehouse or hangar area. There could be other fuselages, there could be like just a million other things going on, so we'll probably have to wait until closer to the time it releases before First Contact Entertainment tease some actual footage of the second map. Until then, we'll have Prepper to enjoy. And this is the point in the video which was originally going to be the ending, but right when I almost finished, I got a message from Decepticon telling me that First Contact Entertainment were doing a developer stream, so I hopped on over to their channel and I'm glad I did because they revealed a lot of cool new info. Most importantly is that they revealed Bear's skill. It's called Hunter and it removes the big red arrow over your head and I think this is gonna be a pretty big change. A lot of people don't want anything over their heads and they've been saying this since day one. We suspected in the past that if they ever brought out a hardcore mode, then there will be no arrows there, but I don't think anyone expected it to come in the form of a skill. I think picking your skill loadout just got that much more complicated now in a good way this is adding real tactical depth to the game it may not be very useful on a bright map like prepper in the outdoor area at least but imagine this skill on district or docks where there's so many dark places to hide i think stealth has just become way more viable now thanks to hunter let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments next up is some big news about the crossbow so it's going to be called the tc-1 in game that's going to be its name and the thing you need to know about this weapon is that you can down someone in one hit without needing a headshot, according to Frank. You might think that will make it overpowered, but keep in mind it has a very slow raise of fire while you wait for that bowstring to be drawn back into place before you can shoot again. Plus, the bolts travel slower than bullets, as we learned from our first contact developer in the chat, I believe his name is Odie. The bolts may also lose altitude as they travel, so you may need to aim higher at further distances to compensate for that, but that is unconfirmed right now, so just keep that in mind. So the crossbow is going to have a huge risk and reward factor going on, which I think makes it the most interesting weapon that first contact have added to this game so far of all time. All of a sudden, the CQB has a viable alternative, as long as you got the skills to wield it, of course. So another couple of points to mention is that Frank teased that we may be surprised by what things we'll be unlocking in the new operations, and he specifically named lasers as an example. And just before he said that, I did notice that there was a laser that appeared to be a purpley color, briefly so it looks like we are finally getting more laser colors which is pretty cool i mean it's not a big deal but it's a nice little touch to have more customization and now i'm excited to see what else they'll branch out into in terms of adding more customization to areas where they haven't previously finally both the new prepper lobby and the prepper map itself had some halloween festivities going on and i assume all the other maps will have these too so in the lobby screen you can see lots of pumpkins and spiders and spooky skeletons and in the game itself then the intel and the crypto that you're all used to have been replaced with like halloween candy and so there's a new sound effect of like an evil laugh whenever you pick it up so i mean i love that i wish you had more time with this as i'm assuming they're going to remove all this when november comes and november is just right around the corner but still it's a nice touch and i'm looking forward to getting into it overall operation heartland looks like it's really going to shake up the mess up big time with both its new weapon and new skill i want to hear all about what you think about it, all of this in the comments below and i will now end this video where i had originally planned to end this video and so that's it for this video lads and ladies thank you very much for watching and let me give a special thank you to these lads on the screen right now thanks to their support this channel is growing and of course let me shout out columbus thomas the third crumb and pete hawkins for pledging at the highest tier over there on patreon thank you very much lads for the generosity it is very much appreciated if you want to join my Patreon too, then the link will be in the description. But if you just want to help me out the old-fashioned way with likes and comments and sharing this video and all that usual shite, then I'll also appreciate that too. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stay moist.